on this bumpy 50 point inspection. From Cigar City out of Tampa, Florida, I have their ta Taco Baga Red IPA comes in at 7.2% ABV, uh, 65 IBUs. This is dry hopped with citra hops. Uh, and the freshness on this, it's uh, just under five months old at the time of this tasting. Um, this was gifted to me from Miscellaneous Magnets, so I will leave a link to his channel. Maybe it will be over here at the end. It will be there though, it will be somewhere. But uh, check him out um, at the end of this, uh, click on his link. And uh, he has a, another channel started up too, so uh, you can probably possibly find his other channel through the link that I send. All right, enough, enough jibber jabber right now. Let's crack into this one. Ooh, it is. So we have a, yeah, it's a creamy white head. It's a little bit off. Um, kind of uh, medium bubbles mixed in with some smaller ones, but very frothy looking on top. Uh, Meringue-like. The color of the beer itself is, it's really murky red, brown color. Um, it really doesn't look really doesn't look all that uh, appealing um, yeah even if you hold it up to light it's more like a uh, brown red okay but let's go ahead in for the full inspection cheers Yes, I am going to dig this a little bit for the appearance. Um, it really didn't look all that uh, that appealing to the eye, at least to my eye. I don't know. I'd like a red IPA to be, well, more on the red side than the brown side. If it was clear, instead of this hazy look to it, it may have looked, it may have uh, helped the uh, the color come through a little bit better than what it looks like. So I'm gonna give it a five out of six for the appearance. Uh, it is leaving nice lacing and stuff though. But, um, the aromas on this. Uh, first I was picking up. Okay, Whew. Couldn't, read, couldn't read what I wrote. I'm like, I don't think I wrote corn. Uh, I didn't. I wrote down caramel um, slash toffee. Um, and then there is a slight bread crust in the nose. Um, this is all coming mostly from, from the malts. Um, it was a little bit more forward. I mean, it is five months old at this time. Uh, plus, I think red IPAs, there's kind of a toss up between um, an amber ale, an American amber ale, and its own style of red IPA. So, uh, but there's a little bit of a citrus uh, note and also kind of a candy lemon drop aroma in there too. Uh, I'm also picking up a little bit of a tea note, which could be from the hops fading off being uh, at five months old. They could uh, start to kind of fade in there and uh, do whatever they do to become like a tea note. Um, but there's also kind of like a tobacco leaf smell too. This one mixed in with that tea note. Um, so it's kind of like tea to tobacco leaf. Uh, but for the aromas, uh, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. Uh, for the flavors, 
first thing I picked up was like a sweet tea. Uh, there's a little bit of a bread crust in the uh, maltiness of this as well. Um, there's a slight citrus and kind of lemony um, hot presence in there with a moderate um, earthy and herbal bitterness. Um, so the bitterness does kind of uh, linger on a little bit after the uh, sweet opening to the beer. Uh, medium body, medium carbonation. Which does um, actually leave a slight drying effect on the palate, but not not overly drying. Um, and I get this damn fruit fly that keeps everything wants to go in my face. I don't get it. Um, all right, so let's just uh, go over the numbers with this. For the flavors, I'm going to give it a 15 out of 19. For the body, a five out of five. My overall, it's all right. Um, in absolutely fresh I don't know what this would taste like um, but at five months old it's okay uh, I'm gonna give it a six out of six for my overall um, so for Cigar City in their Tokobaga red IPA it's gonna get a bumpy 39 out of 50 that's going to land this in the good range so I want to uh, say thank you to miscellaneous uh, for getting me this brew and cheers to all of you. Thank you for watching.